Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy, Senior Thyroid Surgeon at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. So today is a very important day. It is the first annual Hashimoto's Disease Awareness Day. So Hashimoto's disease is a very common thyroid disorder that many women and even men struggle from. However, it's often misunderstood and misdiagnosed. So today I wanna to talk about the most frequently asked questions about Hashimoto's disease so we can get a better understanding. So the first question is, what is Hashimoto's disease? So Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disease where essentially your immune system or your body attacks your thyroid gland and produces something called thyroid antibodies. The thyroid antibodies that you would see in your blood work are called thyroglobulin antibodies or TPO, thyroid peroxidase antibodies. And so what happens over time is that the attacking of the thyroid gland causes hypothyroidism, so decreased thyroid function, and you will get symptoms that can cause you to feel anything from decreased energy to heart health issues to weight gain. So what are the exact symptoms of Hashimoto's disease? So some of the most common symptoms are weight gain, fatigue, brain fog or memory loss, um, thinning of the nails, brittle hair. Um, so these are all common symptoms and oftentimes patients experience these symptoms for so long and are misdiagnosed or not diagnosed with anything at all and just chalk it up to menopause or getting older. How is Hashimoto's disease diagnosed? So Hashimoto's disease is basically diagnosed with laboratory examination. So those antibodies that I mentioned, those are the way that you diagnose Hashimoto's disease. So you get your normal thyroid function panel, your T3, T4, TSH, but you also check your thyroglobulin antibodies and your TPO levels. That's diagnostic. You would also get an ultrasound to make sure that you don't have any suspicious thyroid nodules. Um, and this would all be done with likely an endocrinologist, but possibly a primary care doctor as well. Can Hashimoto's disease be treated? The answer is absolutely. And for the most part, it can be treated medically. Um, so medication with thyroid hormone replacement is the mainstay of the treatment for Hashimoto's disease. Um, other things are lifestyle changes and diet changes. So living a healthy lifestyle with exercise, um, you know, not smoking, doing drugs, things like that. Um, and then diet changes would be a gluten-free diet or anti-inflammatory diets. Now, there are some patients, and it's a very small subgroup of patients, that will benefit from surgery. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So, when is surgery beneficial for Hashimoto's disease? So, again, Thyroid medication and medical management is the mainstay for treatment for Hashimoto's disease. For patients that fail medical management, meaning they have tried every single medication out there, combination therapy, armor therapy, different, um, all different types, and their symptoms don't resolve and they're really struggling with the Hashimoto's, those patients are, are um, definitely a candidate for thyroid surgery and they benefit from thyroid surgery. Other patients with Hashimoto's disease that will benefit from thyroid surgery are patients with a Hashimoto's goiter that have an enlarged goiter and it's causing compressive symptoms, or Hashimoto's patients who have a thyroid nodule that's suspicious for thyroid cancer. Um, and then the last group of patients are patients who cannot take thyroid hormone, any more thyroid hormone, meaning they're on thyroid hormone, their thyroid levels are normal, however, they're still suffering from Hashimoto's disease. So those patients will also benefit from thyroid surgery. Does diet affect Hashimoto's disease? And the answer is yes. Um, a healthy diet, you know, a healthy a combination of proteins, fats, carbohydrates, um, but most importantly, a gluten-free diet or an anti-inflammatory diet and really avoiding sugar and processed foods. So those are all the things that you could change in your diet to help with your Hashimoto's symptoms. Can Hashimoto's disease turn into thyroid cancer? And so the short answer is no. Hashimoto's disease does not just turn into thyroid cancer. However, you could develop thyroid nodules within your thyroid gland that are suspicious for thyroid cancer. Um, so that's why it's really important uh, when you have Hashimoto's disease to get yearly ultrasounds, stay on top of your thyroid nodules. If a nodule looks suspicious, uh, get a biopsy, get an expert evaluation. 
Um, you know, so important to keep an eye on it with ultrasounds. So, you know, if you have Hashimoto's disease, if you feel like you're a surgical candidate after listening to this video, um, then you can reach out to us at thyroidcancer.com for an expert evaluation and an expert uh, surgery if it's, if it's needed. Hashimoto's can feel overwhelming, but just know that you're not alone. Millions of people have it. Once you're diagnosed with it, you're gonna see how many other people have it and, and you know, how often you hear the name of the disease. Um, if you feel overwhelmed, if you want to share your story, uh, then, you know, post about it and then put hashtag Hashimoto's Awareness Day and tag us. If you want to see more information about Hashimoto's disease, then you can visit us at thyroidcancer.com.